Hapon po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si G. Tonji and welcome to Kababayan Today. Dahil po kaarawan ko this weekend, gusto ko po kayong bigyan ng very special episode today. Kaya naman, we're here at one of my favorite places in the entire world, the beach. Pag nandito po ako sa beach, ang feeling ko, kalmado at inspired na inspired. So I want to remind everyone that inspiration is all around you. At kaya naman makakakilala tayo ng isang Pilipinang artist. Kasama natin ngayon ang model turned actress turned artist na si Joanna Bacalso Garel. Joanna, thanks so much for speaking with us on Kababayan today. Well, thank you for having me. We're very excited for you. There are lots of things that are happening right now, especially in your artist career. Yes. Right, but before we get to that, I want to get to know you in terms of where you grew up. How mm. Filipina is Joanna? So, taga saan ang uh, mga magulang mo? Where are your parents from in the Philippines? Okay, so my parents, I was born in the Philippines in Cebu City, and so that's where my parents are from in Cebu. And, uh, Bisaya Mangid? Yes, Bisaya ko. Okay, <laughs> all right. So, uh, so you were born there? Yeah, I was born there, and then I stayed there until I was about eight years old, and then my... Um, my family decided to move to Canada. This decision to get into the arts, how did that happen? Okay, so it was really interesting. My mother is a doctor and my dad's an engineer. And you're not a doctor, an engineer, or a nurse? <laughs> Much to their dismay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, you know, a lot of Filipino families, they, they want their children to be into professions that are of sort of, you know, yeah, all of us. Yeah, right? Asian, you know, they yeah. want to be, you know, to be the top of the top. And my parents did not know, or at that time, realize that, you know, there's a whole artistic side that could be very successful. They just knew, you know, you study hard, you become a doctor, a lawyer, whatever, and that was, was perfectly fine. But what they didn't know was they were actually raising children who were all very artistically inclined. My brother is an amazing artist. You know, obviously I got into acting and and now I'm painting. And my other brother is also an amazing writer and actor as well, although he never got into it. And um, so when my parents said, when I told them, look, I don't want to go to med school because I was actually in pre-med at University of Toronto, they... Um, uh, How was that discussion like when you had to break it down to them that you weren't going to pursue that? Was that hard? Well, actually, that was a very difficult year <laughs> because I got pregnant in my last year of high school. Don't do this at home, kids. <laughs> And so instead of going that route, I had to really scramble. But luckily for me, at, when I was pregnant, I was getting scouted by all the top agencies in Toronto for modeling. Wow. So I'm like, so I would say to them, did you know that I'm pregnant? They're like, oh, because I was really small. So they said, you know, why don't you just come and see me after you finish having the baby? So they, I was actually being scouted at you know, as a teenager. <laughs> this is an amazing story. Imagine it's all, really the, long. all the top agencies in modeling, regardless if you had a child or not, wanted you. And I'll tell you why. This is the exotic face. <laughs> the Filipina, right? Don't you agree? They well, look at you and they're like, wow, she's well, I was beautiful. Who, oh, what is you. she? What is she? That's always probably the question you get. Well, they were actually, I was really lucky because at that time the, in the Toronto market, the modeling, they were transitioned from the blondes to now they wanted more exotic. Uh, yeah, so exotic. I came in actually at the right time. So it was just perfect timing. I was a teenage, you know, mom, and then I got scouted. And then I said to my parents, well, guess what? I don't think I'm going to become a doctor. I'm, I'm going to be a supermodel. I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> and you did because you traveled all around the world for your modeling. I have actually, yeah. I've been very, very lucky. And, uh, and then because of my deep voice and people used to ask me, are you a boy or a girl when I was young? <laughs> I said, I'm a girl. So let's talk about your transition into acting. Because of my voice, the the um, casting director said, "You know what? I think you'd have you have a really good voice for TV and film. You should start auditioning." And so I started auditioning, and I booked my first my first audition. I went in and I booked, and it was the role of um, uh, it was for Car Fifty Four. Where are you with? Uh, so I can't really extreme, <laughs> not just whatever kind of material. And not only that, you've been able to be in a Disney film that I remember because, you know, <laughs> who hasn't watched Snow Dogs with Cuba Gooding Jr. And James Coburn. So I was between these two amazing Oscar winners and I was just like, what am I doing here? Inside, of course. <laughs> right. But you're a mainstream 
actress who's Filipina. You should be celebrated by your community, and you are, but you haven't stopped there. Now no. you're, you're really exploring this artistry in you mm -hmm. because you're painting now. Yes, I started How did you painting. pick this up? <laughs> Just like that. I mean, how does this happen? Well, it's because of that. 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 I'm a surfer because, you know, as you get older, actually, when you live in Manhattan Beach and then now Redondo Beach, I started surfing as soon as I landed in LA from Toronto. And I've always been looking at the lifeguard towers. And all of a sudden, one day, and I just said to my husband last year, I said, I'd like to paint lifeguard towers. I started collecting art, by the way, before that. Mm -hmm. I started collecting art about 10 years ago. And so I've been really interested in it. I had a teacher who, who introduced me to Roy Lichtenstein. I always say that wrong. Mm -hmm. um, Andy Warhol, Wayne Thiebaud. And so, these are the artists that have... Blue chip artists. Yes, they're called blue chip artists. Yeah, they're, you know, established, they're well known, uh -huh. and they're... Um, and they really influence the art that you make now. Yes, absolutely, like, hands down. It's like, a, basically, it's a blatant ripoff. No, <laughs> absolutely not. You know, because you are obviously unique in your own sensibilities yeah, no, as I an just artist. Took it, yeah, right? I took it. In, I took it. I made it my own. Exactly. <laughs> you know. So we're here at Manhattan Beach because we're going to get to know the inspiration behind the art of Joanna Macalso Garrell. And we'll it. be right back here on Kabobine today, and we're gonna check out where it all started. <laughs> <laughs> 